In this video, we demonstrate the capabilities of our collision-aware inverse kinematic solver Don IK. Multi-arm systems with decentralized independent control of different arms like the three-arm harvesting robo HortiBot shown in the figure are being increasingly deployed. This leads to challenges in finding collision-free inverse kinematic solutions in the presence of multiple moving arms. Hence, we propose Don IK, a decentralized approach to finding collision-free inverse kinematics for single or multiple arms. Here we use Dawn IK to enable the two arms to follow their respective trajectories while avoiding collisions with each other. We compute collision distances between the links of the two arms. Link pairs that are quite close are termed active collision pairs and are shown linked to each other in red. Even though Dawn IK does not explicitly model the redundant joint, it leverages the extra degree of freedom for the 7DOF arm to avoid collisions and to improve the trajectory tracking compared to the 6DOF arm. We deployed Dawn IK on a 3-arm robotic system to control the middle arm to maintain a desired pose while the other two arms execute predefined trajectories. The arms are modeled as a series of spears for quick collision distance computation. When the two external arms get close to the controlled arm, it moves away from the goal pose to prioritize collision avoidance. As the external arms move away, the controlled arm moves back to the goal pose as there are no active collision pairs with the external arms. Thus, Dawn IK is able to avoid collisions in the presence of multiple dynamic obstacles without getting stuck in a local minimum. To summarize, Dawn IK finds collision-aware IK solutions in the presence of highly dynamic external obstacles. Dawn IK can be used for single arms as well as independent control of multiple arms. The quantitative results in a paper demonstrate the superiority of Dawn IK over a state-of-the-art IK solver in terms of trajectory tracking and collision avoidance. For more details, please refer to our paper.